Colored Wildcats. Today, I pulled out some toys that I like to share with my students. I do wish you were in my classroom with me. We could use these together and experiment with them. So I have some toy cars and I have some wooden blocks. And then I have this big flat piece of wood. Now one way I can play with the cars is to push them around. Push, push, push. And by pushing on them, I can make them drive around. them move without pushing on them? Hmm. I can if I use these blocks and the piece of wood. Now I'm going to put one block here, right here, and I'm going to put that piece of wood on it like this. Now, one end of the piece of wood is up higher than the other end. I built something. Do you know what this is called? This is called a ramp. This is the word ramp. This is what it looks like. The letters are R-A-M-P, ramp. I can use this ramp when I'm playing with my cars because now I can take a car and I can put it at the top of the ramp and just let it go. It moved and I did not push it. I did not push the car to make it go down the ramp. It just went. But how does that work? There must be some force pulling it down the ramp if I am not pushing it. What is pulling on the car? Pulling it down the ramp. Well, what is pulling on you and me right now? Keeping us down on the ground. Why don't we just go floating up into the air? Something's pulling us down. Do you know what's pulling us down? There is a very special force, a very important force called gravity. And gravity pulls us down to the ground. And so when I have a car at the top of the ramp and I let go, gravity pulls it down the ramp. So gravity is pulling that car down the ramp. And it's going pretty fast. Can I make the car change its speed? Well, I can because I can change the ramp. So right now I have one block under the ramp. What if I use two? There's my new ramp. My new ramp is taller than it was before. I have two blocks, so now it's a taller ramp. What will happen when I let a car go down this ramp? Will it move the same as it did before? Will it go faster? Will it go slower? Let's find out. Did you see that? I'll do it again. The car went faster. When I made the ramp taller, the car went faster. So how else can I change the ramp? Well, I can take away one block. I'm down to just, and now just one block, and I'm gonna put it on its side. I made the ramp shorter. Now the ramp is shorter. What will happen to the car when I let it roll down this ramp? Will it move the same as it did before? Will it go even faster? Will it go slower? Let's find out. <laughs> the 
the cars are going a lot slower. So when I made the ramp shorter, I made the cars go more slowly. Now, I have a challenge for you. I want you to build a ramp that you can roll something down. If you have a toy car, you can roll that down the ramp. But you don't need to have a toy car. You just need something round. You could use a marker or a pencil. They're round, they're rolled. Um, you could use a can of beans or a roll of tape or a ball. Anything that will roll, you can use that. What about if you, if you do not have a flat board? Well, anything that is long and flat will work. Maybe you can use a hard book or a piece of cardboard or a plastic box lid. Whatever you use, I want you to build a ramp and I want you to roll your object down the ramp. How can you change the ramp to make it go faster? How can you change your ramp to make it go slower? Take some time. I want you to experiment with it. See what you can do and make observations. I can't wait to hear about what you create. Bye-bye.